We'll start with our basic premise, supply equals demand, and we have an equilibrium price of $5 and an equilibrium quantity of 10 units. Now suppose the price declines to $3. As price declines, the quantity demanded increases to 15 units. This is reflected by the movement from point A to point B along the demand curve. Again, this movement is referred to as a change in quantity demanded, and it only occurs when there's been a change in price. Economists use specific language to reflect the movement along a demand curve known as a change in quantity demanded versus a shift of the demand curve known as a change in demand. So why do we need both? More sold in the market, right? Well, that's true, but the question is what causes more sales in the market? Suppose the supply curve shifts to the right. Perhaps more firms enter this market. The increase in the number of firms drives down the price. Notice that there's not a shift of the demand curve. However, the lower price causes an increase in quantity demanded. And the reason there's a lower price? Well, that's because the supply curve has shifted. In summary, only when there's a change in price that has not resulted from a shift in the demand curve can we say that there's been a change in quantity demanded.